Hey fam, so I picked up uh, something off of Whatnot, and if you're not familiar with that app, then stick around, I'll try to give you some pluses and minuses about it, and also, I want to give a shout out to the dealer that sent it to me, because when somebody does something right by me, I want to make sure that the community knows about it. Stick around. Welcome back, family. Thank you so much for joining yet again. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and notifications and share it with your friends and all the fun stuff. So anyway, uh, like I said, uh, I'm going to try to keep this to be a quick video, relatively, <laughs> by my standards. Um, Whatnot is an app that you can download on Apple or Android or whatever. Uh, it's W-A-T not one word it's kind of it's like live auctions live stream auctions and it's all for collectibles they have uh comic books they have pokemon they have baseball cards they have uh disney Anna, they have funko pops they have uh, coins uh they're all different channels and what happens is you go on let's just say you look at comics generally at any time you'll find at least one prime hour is more like seven or eight different uh, auctions running at the same time and you'll get some heavy hitters there. Uh, Very Gary is there. Comic Tom is there. Uh, Skeff's Comic Knowledge is there. And they auction off, you know, regular books, slab books, whatever. And they have 60-second um, or 30-second auctions. Now, there's two different varieties. One is the sudden death, which means the counter goes until it hits zero, and then that's it. The other one is a regular auction, which is if anybody bids it within the last 10 seconds, it, ra it adds 10 seconds to the timer. And the game that people play on that is they wait till one second, then they'll bid, which will add another 10 seconds, and then they'll, you know, and then it just keeps driving it longer and longer. And it's not just a war of wallets, it's a war of patience. So I'm, there are people that are just like, you know, what, I'm not going to do this with this guy bidding a dollar at a time, dollar at a time. Let him have it if he wants it that much. And, you know, so there's different ways you could play it. Um... The bad thing about this is it really does take advantage of FOMO. <laughs> and I'll explain that after I talk about the book that I just picked up. So, like I said, when I try to find uh, sellers, retailers, whatever, that I think are reputable, I want to share it as well. So, if I think they're bad, I'll let you know. If I think they're average, I just don't mention it. So, there's a channel on there, uh, Kalen's Collectibles. And I'm going to try to get this nice as close. There you go. So, he sent the business card within it. I bought one comic book. Okay, it was a slab book. And it's a, to me, it's a cool slab book. I'll show the book in a second. But what I loved was the way that he packaged it. I'm going to try to recreate this. This is the package that I received. Okay? And once I open up the package, there's another box. And inside that box, there's a bubble wrap. <laughs> so, this book was not going anywhere. Um, it's a CBCS book, and it's really nothing special. It's just a Superman 202, but for me it's special because it is my first 9.9. .9. White page. And it's still in the sleeve and everything else, so... Again, it's, it's, a, it's a, in my opinion, it's a really cool cover. It's my first 9.9. .9. I would have loved to pull a 9.9 .9 out of my own grading, but... It is what it is. You know, I still have a few submissions there. I got a chance, but, you know, my luck with CBCS is really not that high. So, again, shout out uh, to Kalen's Collectibles. Um, I think he actually does shows pretty much every day. Uh, like I said, on whatnot. You want to see his face, not mine. So, that's the that face is actually what's on his whatnot page. So, you'll be able to see it. Um, so, now, the good things and the bad things. The good things is... Um, you, hmm, you'll be able to find some books that will really appeal to you, um, that mostly it is Raws, uh, these are not where you're going to be going to find AF-15 or Fantastic Four number 48, I mean, you're, you're not going to get your super keys off of here, and if you are, it's, you know, you're going to be bidding against other people that are, um, in the comic industry. But you can definitely find some, what you know, cool books. Now, what I got today was I bought, uh, and I'll show it when it arrives, is my first page, CGC-graded page. 
uh, the auction had three different pages from Fantastic Four Annual Number One. In the back of that book, they had like a gallery of different people that had been featured in the one year of Fantastic Four. And he had the page for Spider-Man, the page for uh, <sighs> Submariner, and the page for Doctor Doom. And he did the page for Spider-Man first, and it went up into like the 50s or so, and you know, okay, that's cool. It did look cool. Then the Submariner one went in the 30s, and I was thinking Doctor Doom is going to go much, much higher than that. But I bet I actually got it at a really, really low price. Uh, it was actually I think 22 <laughs> with eight dollars shipping. So 30 bucks for a CGC slabbed page, which I've never had one before. With Doctor Doom, it's actually it almost looks like a, a picture frame that you could hang up. It actually looks really, really cool. And when I first got it, I was thinking I was gonna use, I was gonna hang that up on the wall. But since I was actually get, able to get it at such a decent price. I may use that as a future giveaway for like a thousand subscriber video or something. No promises, but you know, I I, I don't want to empty my bank account, but I still want to say thank you to all you guys <laughs> as the best I can. So any way I can give cool stuff, it'd be great. Now, here's the bad thing about this. This website is great for the sellers because... It capitalizes on FOMO. This is your ultimate in FOMO that they'll show a book that's uh, it looks good and you don't know the price off the top of your head. Say like Fantastic Four 53. First appearance of T'Chaka. Second appearance of T'Challa. Uh, first mention of the word vibranium. And it was like, oh wow, it is and, and roughly graded as a 4.0 raw. This is an actual book that sold today. And what I do when I try to do it is I, I try to watch it on my on my phone and do my bidding on my phone while keeping a laptop open so I can check eBay for recent sales of that book. Remember, you have the 60 seconds plus if uh, people bid within that last 10 seconds, it'll add more time. Okay, so you've got time to at least do a little bit of research. And the funny thing is that he raw grade, you know, graded this by his himself. I agree, by the way, I'm not saying his grading is off, but he said that he believes this to be a 4.0. Okay, 4.0's CGC slabbed sold within the last 10 days on eBay, 135. Raw's sold last 10 days, 55 bucks. The bidding went to $138. So somebody paid for a Raw, but they actually could have bought an already graded book. Or, put it more <laughs> convincingly, they paid for a raw 4.0, what they could have gotten a raw 7.0 for, or a 7.5. So, it's because people don't have the time to check to see, it, you know, and I've done this myself. I, I mean, when I was so enamored with looking at my, um, when I got my Fantastic Four number 9, I gave too much in trade for the book. But I just like I gotta have that book. I love that book. I love that book. Now in the long run, the books I traded went down, <laughs> and that book has gone up. So it's I could have gotten a better deal, but it's fine. I, I I didn't die in the long run. We all had that FOMO. Whatnot is a really capitalizes on it because here's a book. You got 60 seconds. Do you want it or not? Do you want it or not? Do you want it or not? <laughs> if you're in a room with 30, 40, 50 other people, they're all bidding on comics. They all know comics. Okay, so nothing's going to sneak by on these guys. You're not going to get that. I got a $500 book for 50 bucks. It's not going to happen. But you can still get books that can help fill your collection. And if you if you follow certain uh, pay, um, people, shows, their shows really, you'll actually get to know the other people in the chat. It becomes a community and you may even be able to talk to them offline and make other deals. It increases your network, which is good. You can get some good buys. I would suggest that you really do do your as quick research as you can and just do um wow <laughs> overall i recommend whatnots but cautiously okay just like mercari it's another one you'll constantly see people putting up books with you know they've never sold a book before they're selling an amazing fantasy in 15 for 150 dollars. somebody quickly buys it because like well if, if they don't ship it i just get my money back but the first thing that happens is they send that person your address, your name and address. So that's the first step towards identity theft. 
So be careful, guys. If you see an offer that's too good to be true, it genuinely, <laughs> more often than not, it is. So hopefully I gave you guys some good advice. Hopefully I gave a good uh, recommendation for Kalen's collectibles because I am now following him and his shows are all slabs. They're pretty much all CBCS. So just factor that in when you're bidding on your books. I just wanted to have a 9.9. I'm cool with that. <laughs> um, other than that, thank you so much for joining yet again. Uh, getting closer towards 750 and, you know, just um, I want to get there. I want to get there. I want to get there. <laughs> Uh, thanks so much for joining yet again. As I've already said that, don't forget to click, smash like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you again. I mean, until such time, mahalo.